I don't know if I fucked anything up. Okay, so today I'm uh, taking the track out, the old one. And to do this, <clears throat> I have to <clears throat> put the chain back on. Because this, you want this to be, man, it is cold. Uh, you want that to lock. And for that, you have to put the chain back on. What's that? I don't know. So. Doesn't have to be tightened up crazy, but. I did. Um, it's a 5 8. I'm gonna assume. Yep, and just make sure you go the right way, which is. Lefty Lucy. If you're going towards, your, towards the back of the sled. Ah, just. Just like that. Comes right off. Put that somewhere. You know you ain't gonna lose it. Loosen off your chain. Let me stop it. Snow today. Pretty cool. Oh wow, that needs to be tightened a lot. Yeah, just swap in your uh, tightener, your tensioner. Uh, it could just be an iron nipple, because it's not going to make me go get some tensioners. Keep loosening that up. Keep loosening it up. Oh, loose, 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 loose. I need a pull. Oh, you can't. Let me get my flashlight. That right there needs to come apart. I might be able to just get those three bolts if I can get this off. If you get this off, it's pretty easy. Oh my goodness, it is cold today. Pull that out. Should lift up. I hope not, but here it is. Um, it was just one snap ring on one side. I, if there was a snap ring on the other side, it didn't come out. But the inside of that should be. Nope. And now I'm gonna pull this track out. Um, when you put the new track in, you want to make sure that the arrows, sometimes they're in the middle, sometimes they're on the side, like that one right there, your arrows are all facing that way, because the track's going that way, it's pushing. And I'm back, GoPro battery's in, uh, track's ready. I've been waiting for this moment, since I got this skidoo, really. I'm going to put my boot, where's my boot, right in there, yeah. And I'm gonna jam that thing right as tight as I can get because the excess slack I had was getting it so it wouldn't push all the way up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll put a time lapse on. I only got 23 minutes left of recording on this. And that's it. Shouldn't take me all that 23, but we'll go. So, um, 
putting this drive shaft back in, there's a few things that I noticed. One is that you want it high off the ground. I didn't have it lifted enough, and that's why I was fighting it. Also, you want no slack between your drive shaft and your track. You want all the cogs engaged. I, uh, this was a long, difficult process, but with the magic of video editing, I made it look pretty easy. As you can see right now, I'm trying to fit the um, little brass piece that the bolts sit in, like a, like a holder. They sandwich together. If you take it apart, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, it fits, um, and I already put it in, so, snap ring, um, one more thing I want to say is chain case, don't let it scare you, um, I have a video up of me taking it apart, so I didn't focus too much on the chain case in this video, so the bottom gear, you're going to take the bolt out with the washer. Then there will be a collar. Take that little collar out, then the gear slides off. After the gear slides off, there is a bearing in there. Take your snap ring pullers, get the snap ring out of it, and then it's free. On the other side, all you have to do is three bolts on the speedometer housing for the speedometer gear. Take that out and that whole unit will come out. It is pretty easy. Make sure you grease this where the speedometer is. There's a little grease spot on it. I have another video that I'll be posting soon or it might already be up, I'm not sure yet, of me doing all the grease points on the skidoo. As you can see, I'm putting the collar on now and then I'm now looking for that bolt I think I punched it in with a rubber mallet just a little bit to make sure it was really in there. And um, I don't suggest that. You could move the shaft, you don't want to do that. Uh, I was stupid, but I did it anyways. And then I put this bolt on with the lock washer and I'm done that. And then I got my chain. Order a new chain if your sled's above 4,000 miles. That's what I did. I ordered a new chain. To tighten this bolt, you're gonna have to put a chain back on. See, I didn't know that, but you need to put your chain back on, and then you'll need to put your brake on. Because if you don't, you'll just spin it. But that's how you do that. Okay, so now that everything's in, the uh, speedometer casing's bolted back up, the chain case is put back together. Now you can put your rail and suspension unit back in. This is a, the hardest process I came across. Um, you just have to keep ha manhandling it. It's easier if you have a buddy on the other side, but as you can see, I did it myself took me so long that I stopped recording on time lapse and I just did it and then took a picture of it that you'll see. Now, don't let this project scare you. Uh, this project is not as hard as it seems. Uh, it's hard work, but you know, take it from a guy who's never worked on any sleds and now is jumping into a project like this as his first project on a sled. Super easy. Super fun, and uh, hope you all have a good season.